Today we're going to be opening up this distribution switch gear. We're going to be starting at the bottom, working our way up to have it all the way open. This is the main breaker where the power comes into. It feeds these other breakers, which feeds other equipment down line. For example, this feeds transformer TMZ. This one feeds panel HB. We're going to be using an infrared camera to look for any abnormalities in heat, loose lugs, or anything that might stick out to us that looks like something's wrong, which we'd need further investigation on. Before I get started, I want to make sure I'm wearing the proper PPE because this is ener energized gear. There is arc flash hazards involved. There is a rubber mat down here. I will be wearing a full suit, jacket, hood, gloves to make sure I am safe in case anything may happen. In this particular application, it was a little bit more in depth and for the safety factors, I got some assistance in taking the panel covers off so we could do it in a safe manner. Now that I'm not gonna be in contact with the energized equipment, I'm gonna back off on my PPE and I'm gonna to go to a more comfortable helmet and face shield while I'm shooting with the thermal imaging camera. Working from the main breaker at the bottom, I work from bottom to top around in a clockwise manner, noting any abnormal heat variations or what appeared to be hot, hotter than normal in areas. And then I change my angle of shooting to make sure that it wasn't a reflection that was showing on the camera. And by doing it by different angles, you can eliminate that to see if it's actually the piece of equipment or if it's a reflection you're picking up. After noticing the abnormality on the conductors, I took the thermal imaging camera in closer and shot it to find out the difference in temperature from that conductor to one like it. Now that I have to come in contact with the energized equipment again, I have to put my full PPE back on. Then I took a clamp on amp meter to check the current reading to see if the breaker was drawing more current than the one that didn't appear as hot. After investigating further with the clamp on amp meter, I came to determine that A and B phase were loaded up a little bit higher than C phase was. There is not a problem. That's what the thermal imaging camera was showing. There is not a problem and that will be documented in the software for the customer.